Um, so good morning, everybody. I'm Hasara. So my study is on physical violence during early pregnancy and its associated factors. So did you know that one in three women globally are facing physical or sexual abuse during their lifetime? And studies have found out that 4.7% of pregnant mothers in Sri Lanka are facing physical violence during um, their pregnancy. So violence against women which inevitably includes violence against pregnant mothers are both a, a human rights violation and a public health issue. So the objective of this study was to assess the factors associated with physical violence during early pregnancy in rural Sri Lanka. And this study was done as a part of the Rajarata Pregnancy Cohort and with 3,233 participants. So the first trimester is the pregnant mothers who are registered uh, at field clinics at Anuradhapura from July to September 2019. All of them were included uh, or invited to participate in this study. And physical violence during pregnancy was assessed through self-reported abuse assessment screen, and the mental health was assessed to Edinburgh postpartum depression scale. And the baseline data was gathered through interviewer administered questions. And throughout the study, what we try to do is to find out the significance of association um, of several factors. So what did we found out? So the results show that 46% for, uh, of uh, first trimester pregnant mothers were sexually abused in the past year, while 64 of them were physically abused in the past year. And within these first trimester pregnant mothers in non Rajapura district, 30 of them were physically abused during the pregnancy and 3.3% of them said that they live in fear of the perpetrator and 150 of them said that they have had suicidal ideation during their lifetime. So when we take a look at all these associated factors, we can clearly see there are three main categories, biological, psychological and behavioral. So there are biological or biomedical factors such as nausea and vomiting, contraceptive usage, and the number of gestation. And of course, there are social factors as well, such as the education difference between parents and father's education and mother's highest grade completed at school. And then there are psychological factors such as the total EPDS score. And I have to mention that within the EPDS score, uh, the individual items representing depression, all of the five individual items are also significantly associated with uh, violence during uh, pregnancy, pregnancy. So fear of the perpetrator and whether they have been physically or sexually abused during the past year was also significantly associated as well as the feelings they have about the pregnancy. So what can we um, learn from this study? In conclusion, like I mentioned, there are many biological, psychological, behavioral factors which affect physical violence during early pregnancy in the rural Sri Lanka. And most importantly, these are modifiable factors. So we can use them for risk identification and to plan preventive strategies. And we have to do further exploratory studies to identify this, these, all these complex associations, which is, um, which, which is around physical violence during early pregnancy. So a pregnant mother carries two lives, hers and her baby. So as healthcare workers, as healthcare sector, it is our duty to protect and prevent um, these type of situations. And thank you very much.